Good morning! Look where I am! I slept in my bed last night, which is so funny. I have a shoot today, which I'm very excited about, and then we are packing. And my shoot is in Birmingham, and my parents actually live pretty much halfway to Birmingham, so they're away. They're in Edinburgh, so I stayed here last night solo, which was a bit strange. But I got to sleep in my gorgeous bed, and I put fresh sheets on and you know, you just wake up and you're like, oh my goodness, that was a dream. I was supposed to get up and work out, didn't. Is anyone else finding these dark mornings really difficult? Like I'm not the best sleeper in the world, I never have been. And then in the mornings, I find it so painful. And it's like, I can get up obviously and get on with my day, but if I wanna get up and do something before I need to like get up and get ready, like work out, I just can't do it. But I'm going back to LA tomorrow, so I'm hoping when I'm there, the warmth will give my body a bit of relief. I am not good in the cold. And it's like 26 degrees there, so. I'm not mad at that at all. I'm gonna get dressed and then I will fill you in on what we are up to. How sweet is this little free people top? I can see myself wearing this so much. So I have just kind of freshened up my hair. This is, I think this is third day hair, which hopefully will work really well. And done my makeup. Uh, I don't know if it looks any good, to be honest. I need to do another layer of mascara, but I much prefer doing my own makeup for shoots. I feel like I just know my face so well. So today I'm heading off to Birmingham because I'm shooting some new headshots, beauty shots. I have quite a few exciting and fun things coming up where I need a headshot or like people need a photo submitting and all things like that. I keep taking them on my own and just not liking how they look. So I'm going to get them done properly. So I'm heading up to Birmingham this morning to do that. And then I have an interview this afternoon and I have to come back here also and pick my stuff up and then drop some stuff off and I'm leaving my car here and then getting the train back into London because tomorrow I go to Los Angeles. And I have so much to do. I actually smashed everything out over the weekend. I didn't get to do all the fun things that I wanted to do, but I managed to smash out so much of the work. So I am feeling fine, but just fingers crossing everything goes to plan today and then it will be fine. But who knows? Nothing ever goes to plan, does it? <laughs> I just have to show you this. So I got this down from the loft a couple of weeks ago and it's in my bedroom on the side, ready for me to take to London when I take codes. And look at his little balls. I've had these for years. I love them. And then his little treat jar is a Kilner jar, which is so perfect. And it says dog treats on the top. Oh, I'm just so excited to have him there. We're actually running so surprisingly on time. I'm not a late person, but today we're just, we're doing really well. <laughs> I left my mum a little note in her everyday coffee mug, so let's see if she finds it. Hopefully she doesn't make coffee on top of it. The trusty Longchamp, literally the best addition. Oh, you're wonky. Okay, let's go and get coffee, and then we are heading to Birmingham. You know what I haven't had this season? A pumpkin spice latte. They've got pumpkin cream cold brew, pumpkin spice frappuccino, pumpkin spice cookie. Is pumpkin spice actually pumpkin, or is it like cinnamon and nutmeg? Because I feel like it doesn't actually taste like pumpkin. So last night I had this real urge to go and look through all my Canada pictures and oh it was just incredible i'm so desperate to go back to canada and explore more i even want to go back to whistler i'm not gonna lie it was amazing and being in this cold wet weather just makes me want to go there even more because the cold weather makes sense there here not so much hi welcome to starbucks hi can i get a soya flat white please soya flat white yes please yeah of course anything else for you at all that's everything Back to time around for me Thank you. I feel like today is one of those like going through the motion days. You know when you have those days where you don't really know how it's going to pan out and you're able to just kind of go with the flow and be super creative and be quite impulsive and then you have those days where you have certain appointments or you have certain things booked in and you have to go by the schedule and you can't break the schedule. That's one of these days. My whole day today is planned out by like every 20 minutes just going through the motions thank you so my friends the shoot's done it went really well i couldn't show you in there because it was just one of those scenarios where it was inappropriate to vlog you know we were really in the zone and 
I it was the first time I'd ever met a photographer and I think it's really important to like forge a relationship with someone without being like do you want to be in my vlog so it went amazing she's amazing I can't wait for you to see the photos and I'm gonna drive home and get some lunch because I am hungry I'm back and I'm ready to run I just came in packed all my stuff inhaled a protein bar now I'm eating this chocolate bite thing and I'm waiting for my taxi to come and pick me up otherwise I would not make it back in time this is really good <laughs> I've just walked in and I don't think I will ever get over how crazy the light is in here. It's unbelievable. So I just sat at St Pancras for a couple hours and I did an interview, did some calls, got some work done, you know how it is. And now I'm home and I am in full on use up mode because tomorrow I fly to Los Angeles. So I need to eat everything that is in my fridge and freezer. Well not freezer but fridge for sure. Um, there's not much. I want this tomorrow, so I have eggs, half a protein bar because I ate it way too close to the gym, so I only had half. Okay, I have five eggs, I can have eggs. And then I'm just trying to like eliminate waste. I can have some gyoza and have some sausages, so I think I'll definitely do some sausages. Sausages and eggs, oh, this is just looking tragic, isn't it? You know what it is? I don't have any like sauces and things yet really. So I have pasta, so I could do like pasta and a sauce with some of the sausages cut up, but I don't have sauce, you know? And I don't wanna go and buy things if I'm then flying tomorrow. I got that yogurt from Waitrose the other day because I knew I wanted like something breakfasty for the day of. I'm gonna have two sausages, I'm gonna have <laughs> some eggs. I think I'm gonna have to go to Waitrose after my workout and get something. Otherwise, I'm gonna be so hungry. This can be my pre-workout dinner. It's not even that late, is it? It's half past five. This can be my pre-workout snack, and then we'll go to Waitrose afterwards and get some real food. I mean, I like these, but it's just a bit of a crappy meal, isn't it? To be fair, I need to get some steps in anyway. I've been driving all day and therefore done about 2,000 steps. So I'm going to gym and then I'm going to go for a walk and whilst we're on the walk, we can grab some food. It's another unbelievable sky tonight. You guys, it's got even prettier. Oh my gosh, how is this real life? I'm taking you outside. I feel like you can see the color reflecting on my hand. This is impressive, right? But wait until you see that. Look at the sky, it's like orange and pink. Oh my gosh, it's so magical. I love a sunset and this is just ridiculous. Wow. I'm currently in my pantry. Well, you're actually currently in the pantry cupboard. I really want to bake something, but I have no butter and it just feels really counterproductive going to buy butter to bake something when I leave tomorrow. So I'm a bit sad, but I love my evenings baking. Actually, to be fair, I have enough to do tonight. I actually have so much to do. And you'll be pleased to hear, I am filming my travel day tomorrow. I haven't vlogged yet, I don't think, being in LA since I've been back a few times. So let me know if you'd like to see that. I am gonna film the travel day so you'll see me arriving, but let, let me know if that's something you, you wanna see. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow morning. These have lasted so well. I have one chip and it's on this thumb. I don't know if you can see that. But these, I think, I got them in September. I got them on the 21st of September. And it's now the 17th of October. And, oh, there's a little chip on that one as well. I don't know if you can see. Probably can't even see because it's so tiny. There. But they have lasted so well. As someone who normally gets chips, like, I two weeks my nails last me. Two weeks. No longer. And I've been oiling my hands with that Biosense oil. That is the only difference. I think that's the key. But I'm going to get the same colour on tomorrow. Because I really like it. It's just like Nails Inc. Chesham Street, my old favourite, if you used to watch the vlogs. My new bedding arrived. I thought we would unbox it together. Um, unbag it. So I ordered from Dusk. All of my bedding is either M&S or Dusk. So they just released a new like autumn collection. I got this duvet cover. So it's like a stony kind of colour. It's brushed cotton. Can you see the stripes? It's like a double stripe and they're a beige stone kind of, of colour. And the bed I've actually got is an oatmeal colour, so I thought that would complement that so well. And then I got two sets of pillowcases that match. And then I got the deep fitted sheet. Always get a deep fitted sheet. I love to have a really nice mattress topper on my mattress, so I need like the extra depth. Again, this is the 200 thread cramp brushed cotton. And 
yeah, it's like an off-white kind of color. So I thought it matched really, really well. So what I'm gonna do, also I've got some time is wash those and then I'll be able to have them all fresh and ready and put them on, ready for when I return from America and I'll have like a nice fresh bedding situation. Always think of future you, you know? I'm actually flying in the evening tomorrow. So I think if I'm right, it should be a sunset flight. Like I should be chasing the sunset the whole flight. I'm pretty sure. I think so, actually. I should check in because I haven't picked a seat. Oh no, the notification came through earlier and I ignored it. My seat preference is in the middle on the right hand side. So I don't want to be a by window. I don't want to be on an aisle. Well, I want to be on an aisle, but an aisle of a middle because then if it's four, hopefully you have a family of three and they never go out your side, they go out their side. And if it's three, hopefully you have a couple and then they're not gonna bother you. They're just gonna go, like, I just don't wanna move. Do you know what I mean? It's really unhealthy, but I'm that type of person that gets on a flight and does not move. Oh no, they've given me a seat. Oh, fine, they've put me in that type of seat. Perfect. I do think Virgin are really good at noting things you've done before and like doing it next time because that's definitely happened here. Every Virgin flight I go on, I select that specific seat and they've done it for me. So I'm heading up to the gym in 20 minutes. So I thought we would start packing. Now I'm not gonna lie, I cannot even remember what of mine is in LA. I mean, I know <laughs> most of my favorite clothes are there. So I don't, I don't really know what to pack. I'm not like stressing about it because obviously I have a lot of things there. But similarly, I want to pack well, but I really don't know how I haven't been there in three months. Like life is just the craziest thing. Being between two places is amazing, but also really confusing. Mm, not that one. This one. I don't know where to start and I fear this may lead to me not starting the task. I wanna take some boots with me, but I feel like I should probably wear them. Also, I wanna take my docks and I wanna take some knee high. Oh, this is gonna be a heavy suitcase. I want to take those. What do I want to take out of here? I should definitely take some knitwear because it's like, you know, the season, but it's still quite warm there, I think. Um, I'm gonna take those trousers. I'm also gonna take my black Jeff Avenue trousers. I feel like I've forgotten how to pack and I don't know why. This is a little makeup bag of new in bits that I want to try. I wonder if I want to take any of those with me. <gasps> okay, these aren't all new in. These are some of my favorite makeup products. Look at that palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, it's perfect. Really, really perfect. <laughs> I'm like looking around like, um. I'm back from the gym. It was so good. I feel incredible. But it's 18 minutes past eight and I'm gonna head to Westfield and get some food before everything shuts and get some more steps in because I've only done like 3,000 steps today and it's just not enough for me. I'm not gonna be able to sleep if I don't like walk and move. So I need to just go and walk and the safest place that's not a treadmill is basically just walking around Westfield. So I will be doing that. I'll talk about this probably more in tomorrow's vlog because I'm probably gonna make a hash of what I'm trying to say. But I do just want to, without gushing, say thank you for all the love on the recent vlogs. Vlogging something that's quite hard to get back into when you stop because it's very alien sharing and then it's even more alien sharing when you've been super guarded because you've not been like 100%. So just the comments are just so lovely. And like, yeah, this was a big part of my life for so many years. And I know so many of you grew up with like the 4.30 uploads, like some of us for like two and a half years. And it's always been something I never wanted to stop. So when it was like the thing that slipped when I was like dealing with stuff, it made me so sad, but Hopefully this is the start of wonderful things and I am going to put some shoes on and go over to Westfield and get some food before everything shuts because it's 20 past eight and I'll be really sad if I don't get some real food. <laughs> I just had the most amazing bath. You know, sometimes you just have those baths that hit different and they're just ridiculously good. Also, how cute is this? It's a little Amazon clip. and I've just used it so much. So I've started packing, well, I haven't put it in the case. Started laying everything out. This is how I like to pack. And I feel like there's too much there, but I'm gonna see how it is weight wise. I am packing my docks and not wearing them, which is just a schoolboy error already. But you know what? It is what it is. And if they don't fit, if the suitcase is too heavy, then I will figure it out. It's fine. <laughs> I finally got my head down, started doing it. So yeah. 
so I think it's going okay. I just need to put it in now and then wear it. I feel like I'm pretty much there now. Let me show you. So this is all my stuff for the morning. So I need to put like my camera away and things after I've used it and then travel bag. You know the vibe. Moving around, we have my two suitcases. I always travel with my two Ramoas. So this is my carry-on and it has just my valuables in essentially. Honestly, it's not that organized because I had way too many shoes to fit in one side. I, I think it's overweight. I haven't weighed it. I'll weigh it tomorrow morning. But if it is, I, I kind of know what I'll take out. And if it's not overweight, if it's underweight, then some of these are going in. I really want to take this with me, but obviously it's really heavy and I can't put that in my hand luggage. I also have the chocolate to put in, so I am going to take this, so I need to, I'll have to take some things out if it doesn't fit. I feel like my skin looks extra glowy right now and I'm not mad at it. Like it looks really moisturized. Well, my friends, I am exhausted. It is half past. 12. I should have been asleep like three hours ago, but it's fine. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you've made it this far, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. That would be amazing. And I will see you tomorrow for... It's an exciting day. You're going to see kind of what I get up to on travel day. It's not just a travel day. It's a prep day as well because I'm obviously going away for a period of time. So I'm going to go get my nails done. And yeah, it's quite a fun day. Like it really is. I get to go to the freaking airport. I love that. But anyway, I'm going to head off to sleep and I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Wow, it's weird to say that. Good night. <laughs>